a 13-year-old boy from California has secured funding from Intel to bring a low-cost Braille printer to market. Intel has not disclosed the exact sum it is giving to Shubham Energy, but the Reuters news agency reported it was a few hundred thousand dollars. The teenager rose to prominence after showing off a prototype version made with Lego kit. At the White House, when he was aged just 12, only a minority of blind people use Braille. The Royal National Institute of Blind People, RNIB, estimates that about 4% of visually impaired children and young people in England currently use it. Even so, the charity greeted the news. We welcome investment in technology that aims to improve everyday life for blind and partially sighted people, and especially applaud this brilliant initiative from such a young entrepreneur, said Clive Gardner, RNIB's head of reading and digital services. Electronic Braille has great potential, but has been hindered to date by high device costs for users. New innovations for low-cost Braille printers such as this one can transform reading choices for people with sight loss who read Braille. We look forward to hearing more about its progress. A 13-year-old boy from California has secured funding from Intel to bring a low-cost Braille printer to market. Intel has not disclosed the exact sum it is giving to Shubham Energy, but the Reuters news agency reported it was a few hundred thousand dollars. The teenager rose to prominence after showing off a prototype version made with Lego kit. At the White House, when he was aged just 12, only a minority of blind people use Braille. The Royal National Institute of Blind People, RNIB. Estimates that about 4% of visually impaired children and young people in England currently use it. Even so, the charity greeted the news. We welcome investment in technology that aims to improve everyday life for blind and partially sighted people, and especially applaud this brilliant initiative from such a young entrepreneur, said Clive Gardner, RNIB's head of reading and digital services. Electronic Braille has great potential but has been hindered to date by high device costs for users. New innovations for low-cost Braille printers such as this one can transform reading choices for people with sight loss who read Braille. We look forward to hearing more about its progress.